What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, the best place where you can learn how to grow your business on social media with video marketing. Now, last week over on my channel, I had to share five types of Instagram reels for small business. And those are the type of reels yang I selalu buat and post on my Instagram and dah bantu I to grow my business and my Instagram account over 20,000 followers. But the question is, macam mana I boleh ada masa to show up consistently on social media. I had to share tips and tricks and exactly how I do it step by step on this video. But today, I nak share how to set up a TikTok shop. I received a lot of requests uh, from my community members actually and they've been asking me, Kak Bel, boleh tak buat tutorial and show us step by step macam mana nak buka TikTok shop. So if you're interested to learn more about this, then let's dive right into it. And to make sure you stay sampai habis, sebab I ada bonus tip for you to help you create first few contents of your TikTok shop. And as an initiative to help you maneuver this video easily, I da include a timestamp and you can find it in the description below. Now why TikTok shop is on the rise and more entrepreneurs are using TikTok shop to increase your punya sales. Now, TikTok shop ni yang best dia sebab it allows creators and also entrepreneurs untuk menjual on the platform itself. So that means macam tak perlu nak ke Shopee ke ataupun ke website ke and semuanya is done inside TikTok shop itself. Ha, huh, best kan? So that's why it gives a very smooth experience for buyers to purchase any products available on TikTok. For impulse buyers, memang sangat-sangat best lah TikTok shop ni. And in fact, buyers pun boleh tengok review juga on the products before making any purchasing decision. And TikTok ni, the majority of the audience are younger generation like Gen Z, Millennials. Jadi, the younger generations are more comfortable with online shopping. It's very quick and it's very straightforward. And I know a seller yang baru je buka TikTok shop for two months and dia dah jual 2,300 units of products. Impressive kan? So, nanti you boleh check out juga her TikTok, okay? And as sellers, bila you dah ada that kind of convenience, so basically, you tak perlu nak handle WhatsApp dah. Sebab sometimes, dealing with customers' inquiries on WhatsApp can be very very time consuming especially yang memang dah ada full time job and then uh, buat part time business so mana nak ada masa kan okay now let's set up your tiktok shop in seven easy steps okay the first step is to go to google and then type tiktok shop seller center and make sure it's malaysia okay once you're in that website okay welcome to tiktok shop become malaysia seller now um, you can either log in or sign up okay so if you don't have a tiktok account you can sign up okay sign up uh, with phone and email okay so so you go there and you just type your um, mobile number okay cell phone number ataupun kalau you tak ada Kalau, kalau you tak nak guna you punya handphone, you boleh guna email. Ha, so, either one. Ha, either way, yang mana you rasa comfortable. Phone number, you nak register guna phone ataupun you nak register TikTok account guna email address. Okay, so kalau you register guna phone, ha, nanti kan you akan dapat the notification lah with the code. So, nanti you kena uh, masukkan dekat, uh, dekat box tu. Okay, now... Um, okay, so yang ni I tukar ke phone pula because I had a problem tadi. Okay, so macam mana kita nak register TikTok shop ni? Uh, you boleh choose either individual ataupun corporate. So I choose individual and masukkan nama kedai. <laughs> Kalau you tak sure macam ah tak tahulah nak masukkan nama kedai apa, um, you just type je. So nanti kan you boleh tukar. Uh, you can change it later and then once you dah type tu, continue. Okay. Continue. And then dia akan minta um, the gambar of your IC tau. Uh, IC or passport. So, you ambil je gambar. Okay, masukkan gambar IC.
and then masukkan IC number. Okay, yang ni wajib. Okay, masukkan IC number and then your full name. Ha, nama macam yang dekat IC lah. And then your birth date. Okay, masukkan your birth date. Okay. So, you boleh access the TikTok Seller Centre ni um, using three ways. Satu, use the seller app. Ha, so, you boleh download app from App Store ataupun Google. Uh, you can use PC as well. Either way, tak kisah. Okay, so I decided untuk try the app. So, download the app from App Store. Okay, so since I dah ada TikTok account, I sign up je and boleh link kan uh, my account guna guna apps ni. Lepas tu, the next step is add your first product. Oh, before that, kena add address dulu. Sorry. Add address dulu for the warehouse. Okay, dah dah add. Okay, kita tengok apa dalam apps ni. Okay, tak ada apa pun. Biasa je. Okay, sebab kita nak add product, I switch to laptop. Senang sikit. Senang nak menaik. So, kita add product. First, uh, kena isi dulu basic information. So, I just letak test saja. And, uh, there are few products yang 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 you boleh ni lah. Uh, and then, macam books apa semua, ada ada few products macam service ataupun books tak boleh eh. Dia kena uh, products yang listed saja yang boleh. So, let's say... Uh, kalau you nak register for beauty products, let's say. Okay, kita register lah for beauty products. Contohnya, okay, katalah it's a lipstick. Lepas tu, kita pergi ke... Uh, okay, you boleh fill in kan the brand name. And then... Yang ni semua compulsory sebenarnya. I tried to skip tapi tak boleh. So... Semua kena isi. Ha, gambar kena kena masukkan. Uh, lepas tu product weight. Uh, semua yang dekat dalam box ni semuanya compulsory. Okay. Lepas tu ada estimated shipping fee. So untuk TikTok punya shipping fee RM4.50. Okay RM4.50. Okay kita isi satu-satu eh. Because... It's compulsory anyway. So, I masukkan je gambar apa-apa yang available. Okay, masukkan gambar. Gambar product or gambar model. And then, description tu penting tau. Variation name. So, kalau your lip products ataupun your skincare ada variations, uh, you boleh tambah je dekat situ. Ha, macam the same product tapi different codes kan. Ha, tambah je lah dekat variation tu senang. And then... Okay, ha, dekat sini lah dia punya options. Ha, kalau you nak tambah kod lain kan. Okay, tak ada apa. Okay, price. Ha, berapa selling price, quantity, berapa. And then kalau ada SKU, boleh masukkan SKU lah. Okay, that's the shipping fee. Okay, dah publish. Dah settle semua and then Okay so normally it will take around 2 to 3 working days tau uh, For your TikTok shop to be approved uh, To be verified So nanti kan you akan nampak that uh, shopping bag Once it's approved When you go to your TikTok account You akan nampak that shopping bag um, So maknanya it's already approved What kind of content now, I have a bonus tip for you if you tak sure what kind of contents yang you nak buat for your TikTok shop. So, this will give you a kickstart in terms of content creation and the first few contents yang you boleh buat. Okay, so you can just go to TikTok shop. Okay, let's say you nak cari inspiration. Okay, you tak tahu you nak buat content apa uh, because you are new. So, let's say, okay, you go to Camellia Cosmetics. And then, you cari the highest sales. So, you are the list of sellers dekat sini. And you just click uh, cari uh, yang paling banyak sales. And then, you tengok content dia. 
uh, you tengok konten dia and then you cari inspirations uh, based on their contents and tengok what um, contributes to her um, to her sales so senang kan uh, it'll get you it'll get you started Now I post a lot of videos about social media, entrepreneurship and marketing. So make sure you check out these two videos yang I share dekat sini. So as always guys, I appreciate you. I hope you guys have a great day, a great week and good luck with your TikTok shop.